asked, I was like, why you didn't call 911? She said, I am calling 911. They are not answering their phone. Right now at 10 o'clock, a grieving mother demanding answers after the death of her six-month-old son. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. Doug Dunbar has the night off. Tonight, Dallas police are investigating to see if problems at its 911 call center contributed to the death of a baby. The city says ghost calls from T-Mobile phones overwhelmed its lines Saturday evening. We want to get straight out to Andrea Lucia live at Dallas City Hall where the mayor and city manager are promising action. Yeah, the city says T-Mobile's CEO has promised to have his top engineers here by tomorrow morning and to leave them here until this problem is finally resolved. But a grieving mother wants to know why it's taken so long to get to this. Say hi, Mommy. Videos and pictures capture Bridget Alex's love for her baby boy. Images of joy now replaced by grief. He was only six months. It wasn't his time, so I'm so hurt. Alex was attending her nephew's funeral when Brandon's babysitter called to say he fell and wouldn't wake up. So I was like, why you didn't call 911? She said, I am calling 911. They are not answering their phone. Saturday evening, the city of Dallas reports it had a surge of ghost calls from T-Mobile numbers, an ongoing problem that has tied up emergency lines for hours at a time. At one point, 422 calls were on hold. Brandon's babysitter tried three times, but never got through. And the last time she called, they had her on hold for 31 minutes. The city's goal is to answer 911 calls within 10 seconds. Saturday night, it reports the average hold time was between 30 and 40 minutes. I just want y'all to tell me why didn't you respond to my son? That's all I want to know is why. Alex says she drove home, picked up her son, and raced him to the hospital herself. By the time she arrived, she says he'd stopped breathing. Do you think if paramedics had responded, they would have been able to save him? I do. I really do. Alex blamed the city and T-Mobile for failing to fix a problem they've had since November. For her, it is now too late to fix anything. At the end of the day, I'm still going to be here hurt because he will not be here. I would not get to see him or smell him or touch him or kiss him ever again. Well, Brandon's cause of death has yet to be determined, and the city says so far it doesn't have any evidence that the delays here at 911 played any role at all. But Brandon's mother says an hour and 45 minutes roughly passed between that first 911 call and the time she was finally able to get him to the hospital. Kaylee? Andrea, this is heartbreaking. You know, we talked about this last week when several people told us it was happening. Why hasn't the city been able to do anything? Now, the city says that it has been on the phone with T-Mobile every single day. It also says that these surges in calls are completely unpredictable. It says for some reason, it doesn't know why, T-Mobile phones will completely on their own start dialing 911. It did say that on Saturday it brought 10 extra call takers into the city, but uh, it says it took a while to get them here and get them on the phones to start helping. All right, Andrea Lucia live for us in Dallas. Thank